welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh, and I'm going to review the SPY. So what's happening today? A complete and total reversal of the rally yesterday, which made no sense, but it did occur. Um, and again, just goes to show you how fast, how quickly, how easily things can change in a dime. You must know how to trade in this market. So I'm just going to go back to the beginning of the year. Um, you know, again, a lot of traders like to buy dips. I will tell you from doing this now for 14 going on 15 years trading the U.S. stock market that buying the dips does not consistently work to make money trading. Even in strong stocks or weak stocks or anything at all or even in the market, it doesn't. But in January, a lot of retail traders bought the dips in the market and stocks all over the place and it worked and they made money. So then it was very easy for them to trade and make money and people thought, well, this is all well and good easy. This is the camp of retail traders that like to buy dips. Retail traders that like to buy dips got crushed in 2022. Why? Because the market fell all year. I mean, let's go back to this is 2022. So the market fell all year in 2022. People that like to buy dips got crushed. People did it very easily in January who like to buy dips. Again, I'm talking about the buy the dipper people. And they made money. And then all of a sudden they thought, oh, everything's back to normal. <laughs> Everything is not back to normal because there is no normal in the market in reference to buying dips. You can't do it. You can't do it. It does not work consistently if you want to take money out of the market on a consistent basis as an active trader, as a retail trader. I don't care if you're doing options trades. I don't care if you're doing swing trades. I don't care if you're doing day trades. It doesn't work. I could probably say this like every single day from now until the end of time and people would still do it. It's like one of those uh, very rigid, forced, mental things that people wrap their head around and strongly believe in, even though consistently they lose money doing it, okay? And in 2022, people that bought the dip lost a lot of money doing it. But again, one of the reasons that retail traders are not successful is because they do not have a consistent strategy that works in any market conditions, and they very often will go rear to the side of doing something what they think is easy or works or makes sense to them, which is buying dips, and then they lose, 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 lose. So expect, starting today, retail traders to get crushed this month of February because you can see right here exactly what's happening and how quickly things can change and how fast things can change in a dime. And if you like to look at fundamentals, and I know, I don't look like to look at fundamentals. I do it because I have to do it to talk on TV. But it's not something like I'm like, oh, my God, I can't wait to listen to Chairman Powell talk today. No, I don't feel like that. I like to look at charts. I love to look at charts. I listen to what goes on because I have to discuss these things on national television. And then I have to give explanations and, or my opinion. But the reality is that the choices that I make whether I say this is going higher or this is going lower is always based on the gap. And to me, when I read this market, the rally in January made no sense. While we had plenty of chances to break out, what we did in January was not a breakout. But retail traders are going to get crushed this month and probably the whole year. And I'm not saying we're going to trend down the whole year. I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that 2023 is going to be a repeat of 2022. But I am saying that, point in fact... Okay, retail traders like to buy dips and it doesn't work. Why? What do I mean it doesn't work? Does it mean it never works? No, sometimes it does work. It worked in January. It worked in 2021. Market was extremely bullish. It ran straight up. That was an anomaly. It power trended most of the year. But if you look at your whole year, every day, every week, every year that you're training, you lose buying dips. You just do. So you can sometimes do something that is inaccurate and doesn't make any sense and make money doing it some days. But overall, if you continue to repeat that same thing, lose. Week after week, month after month, year over year, over any market conditions. Because again, you know, this market is trying to figure itself out. But for as long as I teach people how to trade, for as long as I trade, for as long as I talk on TV about all these things, retail traders will always, always love to buy dips and it doesn't work. You lose if you're doing that over the majority of the course of a year. With very few exceptions, 
That would be 2021, which was an extremely bullish year, was an anomaly, and the market power trended. So again, even in bullish markets, you can lose doing that. You have to find something to do that works consistently. I'm looking up, there's a, there is a helicopter right in front of me that is so close. I can, I can almost see the guy in the, I can almost see the pilot. <laughs> Sorry, I got, I got distracted for a minute there. Um, <laughs> just going on a tangent, tangenda. All right, anyways, good luck, people. You know, think about what I'm saying. I hate to see people lose, but I know people are losing today. People are losing today. So if you want to learn what to do, that you can consistently make money in the market, then you have to learn a strategy that works. My strategy called the Golden Gap Course teaches a 26-point rating system to find the best gap to do every single solitary day, and then we hit it, and then we go after it, and then we do it, okay? It is a high win ratio. What does that mean? More trades work than lose, and that's what you need. Buying the dips does not have a high win ratio outcome. Therefore, don't do it. When you're looking at odds, trading and making money in investing and trading and all of it has to do with the odds. You want to put the odds in your favor. You're not putting the odds in your favor if you're buying dips. So look for a very, very, very interesting month of February. I'm excited about it. Today was a fantastic day. And if you're interested in more information about learning my method and taking the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa.thestockswish.com. Have a great day.